Matt Smith, definitely one of those drivers that you definitely better keep an eye on, no doubt about it. Let's uh, try to grab Todd Guerin and some other drivers here that are going around the racetrack as we're going to grab some interviews leading up to our events here. Uh, again, Green Flag 230, CarawaySpeedway.tv. We're looking at, again, right now, Todd Guerin's car. He just came off of a practice session, and you see he's probably getting ready to go right back in the car again as there's the number 13 machine. Matter of fact, I'll try to jump in here real quickly and – Todd, how's the car been the last couple of sessions, buddy? Always great seeing you. Uh, it's not too bad. We got a couple of issues with the fuel cell that we're still trying to short out, but the uh, car feels really good. It's good to be back at Caraway Speedway and looking forward to a great afternoon. There you go. You see they're still thrashing. They got another session before qualifying, before they can get out there. But that's Todd Guerin and old Todd back in the house again. All this Our next driver to make his way out onto the Garraway Speedway in that number 13 automobile. Driving to number 13 is Todd Guerin. Yeah, Todd Guerin, man. It's, it's cool to see old Todd back again. I've seen him at, uh, he's driving that Chevrolet number 13. Uh, I've seen him at Orange County and Ace and here at Caraway. Been a while since he's been to this racetrack, but he's really excited, man. I uh, was chatting up with him in the pits and he's like, Dude, my intentions are to be here many times this year. Got a pretty good run going here in that 13 car. Let's see what he can do. Well, Trevor Knight coming out for him as he, Todd Guerin, he moves to the second quickest overall qualifier in the number 13 car with an 18-3-9-0. Yep. The time to beat unofficial is 18-2-2-2.
Turn number one, Meese Benz, Matthew Smith will start third. Starting fourth, Brody Duggins out of King, North Carolina. Starting fifth, Todd Guerin starting sixth in car number 70. Gary Ledbetter starting seventh, Corey Rose starting eighth, Miguel Caesar starting ninth, DJ Dean starting tenth. Our 11th, Justin Haithcock, starting in 05. Bryson Pickard starts 12th. Christian Henderson in car number 25, 13th, 14th. Josh Williams, number 5. Isaac Johnson starts 15, rounding out the field. Kyler Kepley in the car number 31. And the leader, Landon Huffton, off of turn two, down the back stretch. Along with him goes the number one car, Matthew Smith. But he's catching quick company with Daniel Schott in the number 12 car. Schott was your quick qualifier for this afternoon's 40-lap feature here at the Showplace of the Carolinas. Let's watch Miguel Car- uh, Miguel Caesar Jr. from the Dominican Republic in that number three machine. Make a move down to the inside. Up on with Jeremy Clay. Todd Garrett. That's side by side. Meanwhile, we back to the leader with Matt Smith. But Sean is coming and so is Doug. And remember, he was a challenger winner here at Winter Heat back in February. of uh, the 25 of Henderson or the problems that we saw obviously on the other driver of Isaac Johnson. Field comes back to the Affordable RVs restart zone. Green flag waves by Josh Lyles on top of the TriStar Racewear flag stand. And we are back to it again. Huffman by two car lengths over Shot. Shot's right behind him. Smith will follow. Duggins is there behind the McGagala traffic off four. All four they come, single file for the most part, as the front ten make their way back to the turn two area. Landon Huffin, I watched that car when he got on the restart right there. Landon's got a lot of horsepower in that car. It showed when he had that restart. Yes, Don't sir. take that 12 car for slaps neither because it's got horsepower too. But it looked to me like it was pure horsepower that put that car right out front at that time because oh. he just drove up around the 12 car of Daniel Shot. Matthew Smith, watch how that car handles. And there's Brody Duggins in fourth, fifth is car number 17, Clay in it. And then you got the three car. That's the gentleman that comes from uh, south of here, Miguel Caesar. He's from the Dominican, Dominican Republic. Republic. <laughs> yeah, driving for, of course, Ed and Kelly Cox of the TriStar TriStar racewear team as right now another lap goes on the board landon huffman two-time late model stock champion at hickory motor speedway got a car out of the pit lane it's gary ledbetter jr he was of course on the
One thing to note, Miguel Cesar has moved into the top five in this event due to the one car coming out. Meanwhile, and, and the choose up. rule. And the choose rule. Taking advantage yeah. of the choose That's rule. Right. He did it. And Landon Huffman once again jumps out front, but look at Brody Duggins. Duggins and Daniel Schott are going to go at it head to head. Along with them goes uh, the number 17 car driving the 17, Jeremy Clay. And cars are kind of gathered yeah, look, up wow. right now as they exit off of turn t- uh, four. Boy, you want to talk about door to door, Allen? Watch Shot. Yep. Shot and Duggins going at it side by side, stride for stride. Same but way with Clay and Caesar going at it for position. It's so Landon Huffman got a car off the pace out of turn four. It's the 31 machine. Tyler Kepley onto the pit lane. He gets safely on the pit road. see if the 13 car can work his way around him. Meanwhile, you yes. have Landon Huffman at the front of the field driving number 13 car. Beautiful looking race machine. The field is single file. Landon Huffman out in front driving, of course, for the Evan Ingram Racing Stables. And look at this now. Look at now the 13 starting to run down the driver, of course, of uh, Caesar. Miguel Caesar under attack by Todd Guerin. Guerin's trying to go to the inside. He can't get there. And by the way, we're five to go next time around. And Landon and- Huffman is in front. 